All right, today the letter we are going to be working on is the letter G. And what does the letter G say? G. G, 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 like. Do you know what this is? Swan! Does swan say G, G, G? No. So what says G, G, G? G. G says okay, g, 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 like goose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a black marker and we're gonna draw a big uppercase G onto our paper. Okay. Uppercase G and G says g, g, g. All right, now we're gonna make our uppercase G thicker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to this point, do a little line and then follow it along and then connect it again. Very good. Okay, now what we need to add here is a big old beak. A big old goose beak. And a line in it, so it can open and close its mouth. Onk, onk, onk. Cause a g, g, goose starts with the letter G. 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 Now let's add an eyeball. I'm gonna do a little circle with another circle on the inside of it. And next, let's add the feet. I'm gonna draw what looks like an L, two L's on the bottom. Okay, draw two L's on the bottom. I did. And then we're gonna go bump, 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 like a backwards three. Bump, bump. And then we're gonna go down and up. Okay, now start at the top of that and go down and up. And those are the little feet. Oh, you already did. Okay, perfect. Now let's add a wing. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of the G and do like what is called a teardrop shape. A teardrop? I don't know how to do a teardrop. Start here and bump it out and then go to that point again. Go to that point again. And then to make it kind of blend in, I'm going to add little lines. Kind of like little feathers, but it just helps blend it in. All right. Yeah, me too. And then next, we need to color in the beak. Color in the beak and color in the feet. Okay. Man, that is one heck of a g g goose. What is this letter? G. And what does G say? G. G. G, g, like, like g, g, goose. 